Hi guys, this is lesson number 6 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to apply this type of effect in our uh, object by using Combine, Intersect and Trim Control in Coral Draw. So let's get started. I am going to move this uh, object to the side here. Okay. First of all, uh, we need to create a circle. Go to Ellipse tool. Just draw a circle by pressing control key. So you can see that here we have. We can click on pick tool. Move it somewhere here. Okay, that is the size. Press plus key from your keyboard, from numeric keyboard, from the right side, press plus to copy. And now in the same place we have two objects. Press shift key to resize from the center. Okay. Hold it from the corner and it will be resized from the center. So you can see that. So this is how we have two circular shape. So in the first shape I am going to fill color just to show you that there is a two object but uh, that will become one. Now this what I am going to fill with uh, maybe green. Okay. And inside object I am going to fill with the yellow. So you can see that here we have two uh, circular shape. One is green and on the top it is yellow. So these two objects, once we will combine, only the area outside will remain uh, one shape. So let's check how it works. We need to select both of them. Make sure you are selecting them with the pick tool. And you can see that we have options here now. If I will click on the page, you cannot see anything here. But once I will select two objects, both of them, we have here controls. So this option, you can see that this button here is combine. If I will click on the combine button, mid inside part this in the center it will it will be removed click on combine so you can see that only we have around now our both circle become one ring and inside you can see through let's create another object here i want to show you we have here box we can fill with a different color and for now this box is on the top of this uh, ring i can go to the object order and to back of the page so I can move it and you can see that it is a behind and you can see through inside so it's mean this object is a ring so far now we are going to uh, get this type of effect you can see that this uh, sky blue circle it is going here it is on the top but here it is under green so how to do that thing Let's move this object in the side here and select this uh, ring, press plus key to make another copy and move it here. You can press control key to maintain the same alignment. Okay, so here I have this object. This object I will use to get intersected part here. So how to do that? I will bring this object simply here, the area I want to intersect. Now you can see that both object uh, I need to select. I need to select both of them. Now once I will click on intersect, this common part uh, between two object will be a separate object. Coral Draw will create another object uh, from this part. So both of them selected, select this way. And here we have option, you can see that intersect. Once I will click on intersect, uh, we got here intersected part but it is behind uh, green. So let's move this object now we don't need bring it here and that intersected part i can select this way or i can just click on this uh, green ring and object order to back of page so you can see now we can see that intersected part that we have here okay so this intersected part we are going to use uh, for this object just bring it here this way by pressing control key move so it will maintain the horizontal alignment I will just bring it here as you can see now that part it is down and uh, our ring is on the top in this case if we will trim uh, this object the common area between two object will be trimmed from the red object because it is behind it. if I will select both and click on trim here this option is trim you can see that this object is not affected but the red it is trimmed what we need to do we need to we will go back control z undo okay 
So now we get back again uh, both object uh, on the same state. So all what we have to do if I want to trim this one this object this ring I need to send it back. Okay. We will select this object object order to back of the page. Now our red object is in the front. If I will select both of them and trim the green object will be trimmed. Okay. So I can move this object we don't need anymore. Okay, just move it here and this is how we have. Now if I want to bring this object here, let's change the color. We can apply sky blue the way we have here. Okay, so bring it back by pressing control key. So it will maintain the same alignment. So you can see that uh, the object is in the right place but uh, here you can see that uh, still we did not achieve our desired result. What we need to do here, we need to bring this uh, blue object on top. Okay, once I will bring it in the front, since it is trimmed here, the green it will be visible here, but in this area, the blue object it will overcome. So let's do it. Object, order to front of the page. Now you can see that it is on the top here, but here it shows that it's going. Uh, under green in fact this object it is trimmed you can see undo so this is how we get this nice effect on our two object let's uh, remove the outline select both object and right click on the X so this is how we have now it is very easy once you already trim this part to get this two object now we can just copy this okay we can select this object press plus key move it here by pressing control key so you will be able to maintain the horizontal alignment and now we have here and if I will change the color this is how simple it is now you can see that this is going see through here and it is on the top in this area so once again if I will copy press plus key from the keyboard and uh, move it by pressing control key to maintain the horizontal alignment and just keep it there and if you want to make you know more precise alignment you can zoom this way and uh, do like that here I'm going to fill the orange color so this is how we have now we can delete uh, that two objects we don't need anymore and here we have nice effect we got on our object by using trim combine and intersect control in coral draw these options in coral draw will really help you while you are creating logos are shape according to your specific need hope you enjoyed this lesson try to practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you